Um, in this video, I'm going to share uh, some applications of linear equations or what they call as worded problems. And I know there are uh, so many applications of linear equations, but I'm going to share to you uh, a few of those applications. Okay. I will start with each problem. Now in each problem, if you will ask um, students can nakaagayan eh, nisuran sila ane. So, depende na siguro sa diskarte. Sige, let us try. Each problems are algebra word problems that deal with the ages of people currently or present in the past or in the future. Ages of people, ah. So, depende, ah. Kung pila ka tao, Open na yung number of unknowns or variables. Uh, so, how do we solve age word problems? In Anisa, if the age problem involves the ages of two or more, then using a table would be a good idea. Maunin suggestion nga para dalit sabton ng age problem, magbuhat ng table. Para plus time on solution. A table will help you to organize the information and to write the equation. So, to organize the information, nadia ang condition sa problem, kung say relation sa edad nila, like twice as old, younger, and ba older, diha. Also, una kay table, mas dalit ni mo, ma formulate or ma write ang equations. So, and also, so age problems, um, you're going to give emphasis sa uh, tenses, uh, mga to, past, present, or future. So, dapat, kung mag-solve ka, kay balo ka na past to siya, present, and future. So, ang ilanan sa past, kanang verb na was, or where. Pag present is uh, walang future is will be. Oh, will be. Kung time pero itong hisgutan, uh, yearly atong bisis na eh. So, ang past na eh, dili appeal ng last week, last month, or yesterday. Wala. Wala appeal. Wala la. But years ta. I Two years ago, three years ago, yan na. So, kanang ago, may ilhanan nga. Past na. Well, ang future is kanang after. Like, five years after, ano na sa future na. Or five years later, ano na sa. Or kanang five years hence. Oh, future, kaya po na sa. So, again, ah, uh, Mag-organize, mag-draw mag table para organize mo ang solusyon mo. So, yun na niyo. So, sa table, uh, of course, mag-competa. Let us say, doha lang katao. Si Pedro o si Juan. Diba? Okay. Dahil yun. Uh, Itay na to ang tulok katenses. You have present and then past and then future. Uh, example sa past, two years ago. An example sa future, three years from now or three years after. Makita mo yung problem, di mo nilisod, ba? Okay. And then, mga saan kag variables? So, ang variables ni mo, uh, universal nga representation, X and Y. Depende, pwede po ka mag-initials, P o J. Depende sa inyo. Sige, universal na na. So, or common na uh, practice, X and Y. Sa past da yun, two years ago, ang edad ni Pedro was x minus 2. Walang kauwan, minus 2. Sad. And then, three years after, ang edad ni Pedro, x plus 3, walang kauwan, y plus 3. Inaanara ka, simple? O, actually, simple man nila. Okay. 
ang medyo lisodre is ang pag-apply sa condition. Like twice as old, three times as old, younger, older. Yeah. So, step by step, ha? kung mga inala sa gordon problem. Yeah? Sige. Mag-solve the problem. Example. Sige. Carla is 25 years younger than his father, Benjamin. Five years ago, his father was twice her age. How old is Carla? So makita niyo sa problem na rin na ang, ang tenses niya rin nga involved, present lang is o past, kinamatay ago, wala yung future. So, Dilit na ng problems na ah, ng tulo. Pero sure, sure, taga na ginang present. So it's either past and present or present and future. Ano? Sige. So una, buhot yung table. So, amo ni mo table. I-compare ni mo si Carla o si Benjamin. And then, present, then past, dayon. Ang past kay 5 years ago. What lang kadag 5 years? And then a variable, x and y. And then x minus 5, y minus 5. Pagka humanubuhatan yung table, ayan na dahil ka mag-interpret sa given condition sa ilang edad ba? So, sige ah. Step by step. Let us start with the first sentence. Carla is... Present ni. Therefore, ang focus ni mo, present ages nila. Present age ni Carla o present age ni Benjamin. Sabto na yan naman eh. Carla is 25 years younger than his father, Benjamin. So, bale, mas gamay ni value sa X. Okay, mas bata naman si Carla. Mas dako ang value sa Y. So, asa man ni mo ibutan ng 25? Iyon mo nang i-add sa x. Kaya gamay mo nang x. So, there will be two equations. Kaya doon mo nang variables. Oh. Mo nang yung first equation. Oh. Si Carla, 25 years younger than Benjamin. So, kung pila edad ni Benjamin, minus na ito, 25. Younger man. Like, awa ha? 25 years younger, no? So, kung si Benjamin is 50, Carla is 25. Kaya 25 years younger man. Diba? So, kung 50 na, minus 25, 25. Okay, na ano. So, kung mag-isit ko formula ito, you can assume values. Pwede ko mag-assume values para masabutan yung mga ayo. Yan, ano. So, sa second, dili na po ito sa second na sentence. Five years ago, focus ko sa edad nila. Five years ago. That's x minus 5 and y minus 5. Five years ago, his father was twice her age. Doble ang edad sa papa kaysa kang Carla. So kung ang iyong papa ay 60, or si Benjamin 60, si Carla 30. Twice man. So, o twice sa multiplication niya. Times 2. So, ang number na 2, dito na may i-multiply kang Carla para ma-equal kang Benjamin. Di ba? So, ang 2, i-multiply ni mga ane kang Carla para i-equal ane. So, mga ane ang equation. This is Benjamin. This is Carla. So, ang edad ni Carla times 2, that would be equal to the age of Benjamin. And then, ayaw kalimutin ng parenthesis kaya ma-change yung mong values. Like the real. Kung hindi ka butang parenthesis, then it will just be 2x minus 5. Wrong na. Kaya dapat, it should be 2x minus 10. Yan na na siya. Eh? So, now, you and I have two equations with two unknowns. And kung nakastudy naman itong, or kung nanong idea about the different methods and how to 
analyze simultaneous equations, pwede na ka mo apply ito. Like substitution, comparison, elimination, or if you want katong determinant, criminal's role, kung kabalo ka ito, pwede rin po. Hmm. So, ang pinakadalian is substitution. Especially kung ang kalkini mo, pwede makasolve, dirit sa raso. Using the method of substitution, substitute x in equation 1. Kine, kine nga x in equation 1, substitute ni mo to equation 2. So, kine niya, ibutang ni mo diha. This is what happens. X minus 5 equals X ni, and then minus 5. And then you simplify. So, X minus 5 distribute into 2Y, 2 times 25, 2 times 5, and then, and then transpose. Uh, transpose ang 50, yung 10, na positive siya. It transpose ang Y sa right, na negative. And then interchange, saan tayo yung Y equals, i-add din mo, 50 plus 10, 60 minus 5, it's 55. And since ang pangita is how edad, ed age ni Carla, present age ni Carla, how old is man? So x, to solve for x, substitute na ito ni sa either 1 or 2. Let's just use equation 1. So from equation 1, y equals 55, the value of y minus 25. Therefore, ang present age ni Carla is 30. Carla is 30 years old. O, inaanay lang sa taas sa age problem, step by step. Hantod na mapamilyarize na ka, pwede na ka dili magbuhat o table. O, kung kabisado, nagigaya ka. Pero, kung beginner ka, and, need pa ni man eh, para mo ni mag-guide. Okay, another one. Tommy's age is the sum of the ages of Carmen and Dennis. Carmen's age is two more than the sum of the ages of Dennis and Mark. Dennis' age is four times Mark's age. And then the sum of all four ages is 42. How old is Tommy? Na, kung tanawin mo nga problem, may upat ka buok anons kay si Tommy. You have si Carmen, you have Dennis, and you have Mark. Diba? So, puro naman yung present po. So, pwede rin dilito magbuha to table kay wala may past ani. Puro na siya is present ra. So, mudit siya ta sa equation, ha? Anyway, inaan naman yung nakuha gama itong table. So, there will be four unknowns, or four equations, di ba? So, ang first is this. Tommy's age, at nagamitan nilang initials. Ang edad daw ko nun ni Tommy is the sum of the ages of Carmen and Dennis. It's very simple. Diba? P is equal to C plus D. Oh, okay. Ito yun. Second, ang age ni Carmen daw is to mas labaw o duha kaysa sum sa age ni Dennis and Mark. So therefore, kung ang sum ha, ang sum sa age ni Dennis and Mark is, let us say, 15. Therefore, ang edad ni Carmen, 17. Kaya mas labaw ang sagduha. So, in equation form, C, ano C is equal to the sum of Dennis and Mark plus 2. Diba? O, so, sub 2 ang ginagin niyo mo. The third one, Dennis' age is four times Mark' age. Ang edad daw ni Dennis, four times 
sa edad ni Mark. So, nga na na, D is equal to 4M. And the last one is the sum of all four ages is 42. Uh, and it's so. So you will have four equations with four unknowns. So, pwede ni mas substitute. Like, yung ano na Sa 3, na na kay D equal to 4M. Pwede na ito ni substitute dili. So, na na tayo ka M. Ang ato na lang problema hon, ang T o C. Now, we will be able to express this one in terms of M. Dahil lang. So, yung ano na Substitute 3 to 2. Kini daw, substitute na ito sa 2. So, kanang D diya, pulihan na ito. Ane. And mo, ane siya. O, ang D, dire, ang D, na pulihan na o 4M. Mo, din ang C na yun. 5M plus 2. Let's denote it as equation 5. So, obvious sa 5 o, oh, na in terms of M na siya. So, T na lang ang kulang. Di ba? Uh, gamit ang 1. So, ano ito? Substitute 5 and 3 to 1. Kining 5 nga si, ibutang na to sa 1. Tapos kining 3 sa kining D, ibutang na to sa 1. Mga ni, resulta. This is C and then D. So, combine mga T. That's equation 6. So, pwede na. So, using equation 4, na naman ta expression sa T, C, and D in terms of M, ato na i-substitute na. So, we are going to substitute equation 6, equation 5, and equation 3 to equation 4. Mga na yung resulta. Uh, this is T, this is C, and then D, and then M. So combine like terms, 9M, 5, 4M, 2 and 2, it transpose my negative, it add 19M equals 38 divided by 19M equals 2. Balik this problem. How old is Tommy? So, si Tami itong kaon. Diretto sa equation 6. Kaya na naman tayo M. Botang na ito di ha. M ako ha natin ti. So, from equation 6, natay T. And therefore, Tami is 20 years old. So, yun ana ang age problem. Okay, dito na.